Console windows and interfaces are very important. Now I'm not on about Xboxes, Playstations or any of the above or below. I am on about a simple text interface that allows you to input commands and view outputs. That's all a console is, it's a simple text interface. I like thinking of the console interface like the cool 80s kid that's a hacker and can go ahead on his really old computer and all he can see is giant text being typed out on the screen. That's a console interface. It's got no buttons, it's got no cursor, it's a standard text interface. And yes, your computers, even though they do have graphical interfaces, do allow you to open up a console window or console environment, which will allow you to take a look at basic input text and basic output text from the command written. Or if you type the command in wrong, you'll be able to see error messages and so forth. If you run on Windows, you can open up the command prompt. This is a console window. If you're on Mac, you can open up your terminal. This is a console window. And if you're on GNU, you can open up your terminal again, which is a console window. It's a basic interface, but however, don't let its simplicity fool you. Computers are very simplistic. However, the console interface, even though it is very simplistic, it is very, very powerful. Your graphical user interface just hides all of those commands that are run, so technically you don't have to be extremely geeky to use your computer. However, as programmers, we like geeky and we like consoles, and we like inputting text and viewing output because that's what being a programmer is all about. So, does JavaScript have its own console? The answer is yes. So, what is this console? Well, this console will allow you to type in JavaScript commands, and those commands will be taken live to the JavaScript engine, the just-in-time compiler, compiled, run, and the returned output will be delivered back to you in a human readable format, which is again just text. This is very, very powerful, and the whole idea of programming is we understand exactly what we are getting back. And throughout this course, I'm not really going to be writing JavaScript files. I may do here and there, but overall, we're going to be doing all the console work. We just want basic input, basic output. And that way, you can see everything live. You can see what's happening in your just-in-time compiler. But please do bear in mind that sometimes I will be writing JavaScript files. And what you can do in your JavaScript files is log things out to the console window. So you can run the script and you can take a look at the output. Again, we'll look at all this later. But however, mainly we're just going to start out with just typing commands directly into the console window. And also, the console is extremely beneficial for debugging, not just to view output, but to view errors and warnings. Any errors compiling your JavaScript files or running commands directly in the console will appear in the console window. So, if there is any problem and your JavaScript isn't working the way you expected it, you need to open up your console and take a look at those errors. So how do we gain access to the console window? Well, we open up the developer tools. Now, every single browser that's on the market today comes with developer tools. I'm just going to cover the most popular browsers. So the first one is Google Chrome, the number one browser in the world. All you have to do is go to a web page. I recommend going to a web page that doesn't have any JavaScript errors. So I recommend going to avalex.co.uk. And make sure you open a new tab up, go to avalex.co.uk, and then anywhere on the page, right click and say inspect element. When you do this, the developer tools window will open. This developer tools will actually let you modify the DOM and even let you modify the CSS live on the page without having to refresh it. But also you have the console tab and from there you can take a look at the console window and from there you can input commands and view the output of those commands. You can also view errors and warnings. Now please do note the data that is displayed in my console window, which is the Google Chrome console window, may look different in your console window if you're using a different browser. Now if you are running Firefox, you need to right click inspect element and from there you have all the same set of standard developer tools dom css and also you will have the console as well if you are running safari you need to go to the safari preferences and then you need to enable developer tools 
Once you've enabled developer tools, right click anywhere on the page and hit inspect element. And if you are running Internet Explorer, simply press F12. When you press F12, the developer tools will open up in either IE 8, 9, 10, 11 and so forth. And again, all the standard set of tools, but mainly we want to take a look at that all important console window.